this is me. And here we have Jimmy, also known as Mr. Beast. He's about to try one of my insane experiments. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Guga, what did you do? Well, let me explain. I just love burgers. I don't know about you, but there's something to be said about a nice, juicy burger. Especially when you keep it really simple and you do it right. The combination between meat, cheese, and bun is just incredible. This combination of flavor is craved everywhere. So I decided to go ahead and add those flavors into steaks. I wanted to find out which burger will make the best compound butter. So I went ahead and chose three of them. We're talking about the Beast Burger, McDonald's, and Burger King. The first one is going to be the Beast Burger. To make compound butter is pretty simple. All you really have to do is to cut it in half, throw it in the food processor, add one stick of butter, blend it on high, really good, add it into clinch plastic, roll it into itself, let it solidify in the refrigerator, take it out, cut up the butter, and there you have it. This is what I like to call the Beast Butter. And if you take a closer look, you can see little bits of the burgers in there. Is there any way that this is not gonna be amazing? Of course it will. I just hope that Jimmy does not punch me in the face in the end of the video. Because I'll be letting him try two steaks. One will be a control and the other one will have a compound butter. But I wanted to find out which one was gonna be best. So I went ahead and did the same exact thing with two other burgers. The first one was a McDonald's. Now here's the biggest difference with the Big Mac. It has lettuce. So I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be a good combination to go into a compound butter. But as you already know, the process is pretty simple. Once everything has been blended really fine, I just throw in some butter, mix it a little bit more, put it in clinch plastic, roll it, and let it solidify. Because I still got one more. And here's the Whopper from Burger King. Now this one is also very different. It has tomatoes. I'm not quite sure if a compound butter with tomato is going to be good, but we're going to find out which one is going to be better. Because the process is pretty similar. As in the end, once everything was completely done, this is what I was left with. We have three beautiful compound butters ready to go. First is the beef burger, second the McDonald's, and lastly the Burger King. We need to find out which one is gonna taste best. And for that, we need some steaks. As you can see, these are the ones I chose for today's cook. We got two New York strip and one ribeye. It has a good amount of marbling and it should be perfect for this experiment. I only seasoned them with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder, keeping it nice and simple so that we can taste those butter. Now I gotta be honest, not quite sure if it's gonna turn out fantastic, so I went ahead and decided to make a quick side dish. And and this one, of course, it has steaks. We're talking about loaded fries. And to make it, it is super easy and here's how. The first thing to do is to cook up some steaks. As you can see, I'm using this beautiful skirt. One of the most important things we gotta do whenever we're cooking steak is to put a nice sear. And at the same time, doing everything possible not to overcook it. Since the steaks are really thin, the residual heat will carry over to cook it to medium rare, which is 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't forget, whenever you're cutting a skirt steak, if you want the best results cut it against the grain as your steak will be a lot more tender. So all I really have to do with this one is to chop it up in small pieces. For the fries I chose these today. To make them loaded steak fries, I first went with a good amount of mayo followed by ketchup and a tiny bit of mustard. Then I added a good amount of steaks right on top, added some parsley for color and that is today's side dish. Come on now, you tell me if this does not look delicious. Oh yes, these steaks fries should be perfect to go along with steaks. Talking about that the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice beautiful sear. Once it's done, I'll be adding my compound butter right on top, letting them melt throughout the steak and have it come up to temperature in indirect heat until it reaches an internal temperature of 135. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time for us to cook some beautiful steaks. So let's do it. everybody here we got our beautiful steaks with a little side dish you know i'm gonna say it. these are beautiful steaks yes they are so as you guys can see i got a little crumbly crust i want your honest opinion on this one all right don't hold back if it's good if it's good if it's bad if it's bad and obviously you guys are gonna see jimmy try it really really soon where do we start right here let's go dig in please let's do it smells like smells Whoa. like heaven everybody huh 
Whoa, that is a very different smell right there, guys. Well, we're gonna let you know right now how it tastes. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, man. That is in oh. <laughs> Wow. It is so juicy, so tender, and that crust. <laughs> Chef's kiss. Very, very flavorful. Punches you right in the mouth. As soon as that butter hits your tongue, it's just an absolute wave of flavor and deliciousness. Yeah, this is a flavor bomb. My, my mouth is like, boom. Really like this, everybody. I know it sounds weird when I make it, but it's good. With all that being said, I'm ready for the second one. Are you guys ready? Let's, Let's do it. Let's dig in, please. Make sure you get that grumbly crust. It's all about that. When the steak is it. dripping, twice. you know you did it right, everybody. I mean, come on. Let's give it a go right now. Right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's so good. That's so delicious. Oh, wait. There's a flavor in there. Oh, he's trying to decide. All I know is that there's lettuce in here. He can taste the greens. There is a little bit of greens. No, I know. I can tell. Oh, you can? <laughs> Damn. This boy don't like no green. <laughs> I really do taste it. You don't taste it? Not at all. I definitely don't taste no greens in here, but definitely a different flavor profile than the first steak we had. I think this butter is a little bit more on the saltier side compared to the last one. Still nice and still has a lot of flavors to it, but personally, I'm sticking with the first steak. Wow, me too. Yeah, oh, I like the first Obviously, thing, you yeah. too, because of I the mean, lettuce. Yeah, I taste it. Would you like to wash your palate, sir? I would love to wash my palate, sir. <laughs> please. <laughs> please yes. indulge in a few please. fries. Let's indulge. I have never used that word in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, yeah? Let's see. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, come on. But you can't mess that up, bro. You cannot mess this one up, everybody. A little crunchy, a little savory, a little tangy mm -hmm. because of all the sauces. And that steak is totally unnecessary, <laughs> but super delicious. Very required, yeah, I yeah. would say. <laughs> I want to say that steak is very, very tender because there's no resistance whatsoever. Yeah. Can you guys guess the sauce? It just tastes like mayo. What I would ketchup. do in a school lunch. Just mix some mayo, mustard, ketchup around, and that's yep. what it tastes like. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> very simple. My take on Jimmy loaded fries if you want the recipe jimmy well you got it <laughs> okay with all that being said enough talking let's go for the last one yeah i want to know your opinion go for it please you always first okay i'll go first yes oh now you want to be second yeah. oh, yeah. no fighting we have plenty there's Trust so me. much crumbly crust on this one i had to go for it very last one let's give it a go cheers cheers Oh my God. I don't understand why it works so well. I gotta say. What? They all work. Yeah. This one's the best one so far for me. <laughs> <laughs> Only because of the lettuce? Not just because of the lettuce. I just think this one also has the best flavor. I have nothing else to say because I also enjoy this very first one. But which, what about you? I'm gonna go with the first one as well. That has to be my winner overall. This last one that we tried, I feel like the butter is just a little bit more subtle than the other ones. The flavors are a little bit more toned down and the first one was just the perfect blend of flavors that complement the steak well and don't take it away. Are you ready to find out what it is? I basically made compound butters out of burgers. <laughs> All of them? All of them. So here's what we got. The very first one, I did it with the Beast Burger. The second man. one was with the Big Mac. Oh, man. Yeah, that's why you taste that lettuce. There's lettuce in there. And then the very last one was with Burger King, which is the Whopper. Ah. And there's lettuce in there, too. God, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> strong palate, baby, strong. With all that being said, I think the only reason that we like this one here more is because there's no lettuce. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. You guys don't like the greens either. You see, you see. No, I don't know. I think it feels like the flavor intensifies a little bit more because yeah. everything is very flavorful on this one here versus the other two. But I'll tell you one thing. The other two taste good, man. They're all, all right. good. With all, all that good. being said, I'm curious to find out. I'm going to go over there, cook one for Jimmy, and I want to see what he thinks of it right now. For Jimmy to really try out a Guga experiment, I have to cook two steaks. I chose two Australian Wagyus, one a ribeye and the other one a New York strip. As you can see, they have great marbling. Now you gotta remember, I'm cooking this inside of Mr. Beast Burger's restaurant. And believe me, they don't have any seasoning. But hey, I brought my own. Just like I seasoned my previous steak, I went with SPG, salt, pepper and garlic powder. And don't you forget about the Beast Butter. Unfortunately, in Mr. Beast Burger restaurant, there's no charcoal grill. My only option was to cook it on the griddle. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook this beautiful steak. So let's do it. You like medium rare, Jimmy? I do. Yeah. Oh, perfect. 
I got two steaks for you to try. Okay. This one is more regular, and then this one has a little something special on the top. Okay. I want to know if you can tell the difference and which one you like better. Here, I'll close my eyes. Hand me one. Okay. All right. That's you, Fred. That tastes like the regular. Pretty juicy. Very good. Let's go for the next one. There you go. Okay. All right, Jimmy. Let me know now. Mm. Bro, I don't even know how to describe this. What did you put on this? <laughs> I mean, it's not too strong. It's mild. Yeah, it just tastes like better mayonnaise to me. There you go. Better mayonnaise. <laughs> I actually grabbed butter, grounded your own burger, mixed it together, so I made Oh, it you did it again? <laughs> mixed I don't know butter. why I didn't predict that. <laughs> That's funny. Which one you like better? This one, obviously. There you go. <laughs> yeah, steak by itself sucks. There you go. <laughs> There you go, everybody. Those are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.